You know guys, before I start today's video, I just want to mention something very quickly. The amount of support that the channel has been receiving recently has been absolutely insane. This morning I woke up to 18,000 subscribers, which is ridiculous, okay? We're only 2,000 away from 20,000, which is one of my biggest goals that I've been wanting for a while now. I'm hoping we can hit that before the new year and I genuinely think we can. So very quickly, I just want to say thank you for that and the other thing I want to say was today's video is a very very big video in comparison to some of my previous videos I think I'm gonna be spending a little bit more time creating this one so if you guys could please leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below that would be greatly greatly appreciated and without further ado guys today's video is my full review of the MW 2019 part 3 beta I genuinely genuinely think my opinion on the MW 2019 part 3 beta is is probably as accurate and honest as you could possibly get and and that's not an exaggeration like I really spent time thinking about where to place certain things so we're dividing this into four sections we're dividing this into the actually good section like it's actually fucking good then there's the mid section and then there's bad and then there's just complete and utter dog shit and at the end of the video, I'll also be giving a rating and recommendation for the game. And one last disclaimer, I'm an extremely hard grader, okay? So some things people will disagree with just naturally. And, you know, something that might be extremely good for another content creator is like mid for me or bad for me. Like my standards are just naturally very, very high for a AAA titled game. Like if I were a teacher and I was grading students, the kid in the back of the fucking class eating his boogers going, day, day. That motherfucking kid would hate me, okay? So just take that into consideration when I'm giving you guys my thoughts on this game. Starting out with the actual good section of the MW 2019 Part 3 beta, I gotta say this is 100% completely honest. The movement in this game is so unbelievably fluid. It is probably the smoothest COD movement that I've played on in quite some time. It clearly outshines any of the last CODs from like the past like five, six, maybe even like seven years to be completely honest. And just to be specific, I mean like the slide cancel is extremely smooth. The drop shot is extremely smooth. I wish they would improve the fluidity of the jump shotting just a little bit, but not to the point where you could abuse it and turn it into bunny hopping because that is uh, annoying as shit, admittedly. The next thing I would say is the gunplay is legitimately very, very good. Like, the weapons feel pretty nice, the, the headshot thing is very satisfying in my opinion. Like, every single kill you get in this game actually feels good to get. Now, is that a bit of a cop-out thing that a lot of people say? Yes, but for me specifically, that is something that I noticed right away playing the game. The gunplay felt fucking good. Now, some people might get upset with this, but there's only one other thing on my actual good list for MW 2019 Part 3. And I think it's actually very underrated and not a lot of people talk about it this way But sledgehammer games communication is actually fucking good and now I don't mean their changes are good I, That's not what I'm saying I'm saying their communication the way that they're communicating with the community on Twitter in the patch notes in the Trello board I think they are actually probably the best communicators out of all the other development teams And the reason why this is actually gonna skew my thoughts on this game is because you guys know what goes on on this channel. Yes, I rant, I complain a lot, I got a lot of opinions, I talk a lot of shit, but at the end of the day, it's because I want something better for the entire community. And if Sledgehammer Games is doing something that's only to the benefit of the community, then quite honestly, that is something that the Scat Master is gonna tip his hat to. So Sledgehammer Games, I really do actually appreciate the amount of communication that you guys have. I'm not talking about what the specific changes are yet, we'll get into that very soon, but just being vocal with the community, that should is good. I appreciate that a lot. Moving on into the mid section, and this is probably where a lot of other content creators good section would be, but you guys know how the standards go for the scad master, okay? Like, raise your standards. This is my mid section, okay? First off, the dead silence and the minimap changes. Now, normally, this is something that I've seen a lot of people hype up, you know, for good reason, because we didn't have it in the last fucking COD for whatever goddamn reason. Thank you, Infinity Ward. But this time around, we have it. And while I am glad that it is here and it exists in this game, this is not something to be celebrated. And that's why it's in the midsection for me. It's not gonna be a good thing because this should have never changed to begin with. It should have never been something considered bad ever in any COD. 
you're not really gonna get a celebration from me, okay? For me, this is just bare minimum shit. Next is the MW2 maps. Now, the reason this is mid and not good, even though I think majority of the MW2 maps are good, is the fact that at least for the beta, which is what I'm really reviewing right now, we only had access to like five maps. And for the most part, I had a really good time on High Rise specifically. I had a really good time on Skid Row. Rust is pretty gimmicky nowadays, but I still had a good time. When we talk about favela and estate though, I, I don't care about the rose tinted glasses thing. Those maps, they're not that fucking good. The next thing I wanted to talk about, and this is kind of a hot take for me, is the pace and the movement speed. Now I talked about the movement overall, which I thought was good and how fluid it was, but when we're talking about the movement speed and when people are gassing up this whole like, oh my God, this is fast paced gameplay. To me, this is mid. Why? Because I've mentioned this before. It is literally the exact same pacing as MW2, just faster. And some of you guys might respond with, well, yeah, that's to be expected, Fooly. It's from the last game, so it's just improved. Bingo, right there. That's my point exactly. It's not something innovative or good, actually, so to speak. It's just improved. We could have had this as an update, as a patch, in MW2. I also did want to throw this in here very quickly just in case this actually goes anywhere. I think when you're looking at an enemy and they drop shot, I think there's something kind of weird with the hitbox. I've talked about this before. It, it looks like they just plummet to the ground very quickly and the hitbox kind of gets all funky from it. I think if anybody's actually looking at this video, I, I genuinely think that is something to look at. Moving on, the weapon variation. Again, this is something that a lot of people talk about in their good section is how good the weapons are, but for me, I, I think the variation kind of kills it. If you played the beta, you would know right away. It's UMP and the ACR and they're just dominating fucking everything. There's a couple other weapons out there like the three round burst pistol is really fucking good and I actually really liked it. And I forget which sniper it is, but one of these snipers in this game, it's a little bit much. I'm not going to lie. Other than those four weapons, in my opinion, it just seems like nothing else is really being used. And that's to be expected in a beta, but for me, that's why it's in the midsection. Now, this next one is a crazy hot take, and I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with this. The time to kill. And no, I'm not saying the time to kill is bad. First of all, it's not in the bad section, so. I'm saying it's mid because the quality and efficiency of it is heavily weighed down when you consider SBMM. Now, I'll talk about SBMM later specifically, but when it comes to the time to kill, I want you guys to picture this scenario that happens very often. If you are above average and you are shooting at two players, you need to land upwards of 10 shots total to kill two people. Depending on where you are, depending on where you're shooting, depending on which weapon you're using, it could take an upwards of 10 shots total to kill. Meanwhile, two of them, to kill you, they just need to land five total shots. Now, obviously, that's just simple fucking math, but when you take into consideration skill-based matchmaking, the amount of times that you will get double teamed and just flat out demolished is actually extremely often. That is really where you start to notice the downside of the time to kill. Now, think about this too. Let's say you're in thick SBMM mode. You are leveling up a weapon from level fucking two. There's two guys on the enemy team. They got fully fledged out ACRs. You need to take them both out in 10 shots with a weapon that you're leveling up so the recoil is not going to be very good and they need to land 5 measly shots in total. Do you guys see the issue? It's not necessarily a time to kill thing, more so it's an SBMM thing that you stack against the time to kill that makes it not so good in a lot of situations where you're an above average player. It's not that you're missing shots and you can't kill people, it's not a skill thing, it's not like that. I'm talking like in terms of difficulty of getting 10 shots off across two people as opposed to two people getting five shots off on you. I know the kids in the back of the class that go, dude, dude. I know they're having trouble processing that one, but if you have common sense, I'm sure you understand what I mean. The last thing in the midsection I will say is the audio. And the only reason I'm picking on the audio in any way whatsoever is just the whole teammate footstep thing that goes on whenever you have that perk. Yeah, I, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking with that. Hopefully it's a bug. They've probably already addressed it. Now guys, we are moving on into the bad section. Now this is stuff that is just, it doesn't really need that much explanation. It's just straight up bad. And for majority of these, if you happen to disagree, I, I don't fucking know what you're thinking, but the first thing in the bad section is the visibility. Now, a lot of people have talked about this with the whole enemy name tag thing. They've already improved it a little bit. I think they're going to do a little bit more, which is good, but 
In terms of what I played in the beta, there's certain contrast and colors on the maps like Rust or even on Skid Row, and especially on fucking Estate, things blend in too much and I think it's just messy, I'm not gonna lie. This next one actually goes hand in hand, I'm talking about the fucking graphics as a whole. In MW2019 Part 3, I'm not tripping when I say this, for the most part with the exception of High Rise, the colors look fucking shit. Like, they look bad. I've seen a lot of people compare to MW2019 and you guys know how much I dislike MW2019, so I don't say this lightly. MW2019 genuinely looks better than fucking MW2019 Part 3. I, I think some color correction, some contrast, some more vibrance, I think a lot of those basic tools would serve Sledgehammer games very, very very well. The next thing that I think is bad is the UI. I understand this whole Call of Duty HQ thing. I mean, I don't understand it, but I guess I'll just accept it for what it is. It's just, it's fucking stupid. I don't like it. I think they should absolutely overhaul it. Will they do that? Probably not, which only makes me think this is even worse than it is. It's bad. The next thing is the kill streaks and score streaks. Very basic. I really don't like this whole, like, there's a couple of kill streaks in the 300 section or the three kill section, so you can't mix and match them. I think they're just overcomplicating it for no reason. I mean, what's wrong with having a fucking UAV at three and a counter UAV? at four and on top of that the kill streaks need to be way more interesting they need to be way more impactful and we need some new shit please for the love of god the next thing in the bad section is going to be a very very hot take and i know a lot of people are going to disagree but the customization specifically with the gunsmith i know there's a lot of fans of it i am fucking tired of it it's fucking boring it's the exact same shit that we've had for like the last three years and i really specifically do not like this whole thing where to unlock a certain attachment on the UMP, I gotta go use a fucking sniper and get it to like level 13 to unlock that one attachment for the UMP. It makes no fucking sense. I understand they're trying to get more player retention, they're trying to get people to test out different guns. I understand it, but I think it's fucking stupid. And for the third year in a row, it's fucking boring. Can we go to something different, please? And I know, I know, there's that new like weapon mod thing. It's cool, it's kind of gimmicky, but it's heavily outweighed by the amount of sheer bullshit that you gotta go through in the regular gunsmith. And the last thing in the bad section, if you disagree with this, you're just a fucking gooch licker, point blank period. Disbanding lobbies, I don't need to explain any further. If you think this is good, you're fucking stupid. Guys, now we are moving into the last section, the utter dog shit section of the MW2019 Part 3 beta. And when I say dog shit, I mean like, these are so bad, so dog shit, that if they do not get changed, this is one of those things that will kill your game instantly. And the first one, in my opinion, are the spawns. Now, of course, it's a beta, the spawns are naturally bad from like every single year, but when I tell you these spawns are like very, 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 very fucking bad, Bad. I genuinely mean they're very fucking bad. Rust is a fucking shit show by default, so the spawns on that, I mean, I'm not even surprised to be completely honest, but on other maps like Favela, the spawns are so bad. If we are spawning on the sides of the map, I know Exclusive Ace talked about this. He actually had something logistic to say about this. I'm the scat master. I don't talk that way. I don't really give a fuck. All I know is it fucking sucks. Estate, I mean, that map sucks camel dicks from the back anyways. With bad spawns on top of it, it just makes it an even worse experience. But my main concern was when I was playing High Rise. Guys, High Rise is one of my favorite maps of all fucking time. When I'm playing Domination and I have two flags and the enemy team has one flag, why the fuck am I spawning bottom their side A when they're spawning top A? When I have C and B, why the fuck am I spawning up top when they're spawning right beneath me. What kind of fucking spawns are those? What happened to the spawns inside of the buildings? Yes, you get them occasionally, but does it make sense? Absolutely the fuck not. It's never been like that. It was not supposed to be like that. I have no idea what the fuck Sledgehammer Games is doing, but please, for the love of God, fix it. The spawns, like, they, they are genuinely, genuinely bad. The next thing in the dog shit section is SBMM. This should come as no surprise. If you haven't seen my last two videos, I highly recommend you go ahead and watch them because, I mean, those videos those are... <laughs> There's something. I mean, this one doesn't really need that much of an explanation. SBMM is extremely cranked up in this game, and this is coming from a COD fan from Black Ops 1. Okay, I've been playing since 2010. The SBMM is genuinely the nastiest I have ever experienced in my last 13, 14 years of playing Call of Duty. If you wanna hear more about SBMM, like I said, go ahead and check out those last two videos. Otherwise, I am going on to the last thing that I think is dog shit about the MW 2019 Part 3 beta and the entire game as a whole. 
stale. Guys, I've also said this before, this game is 100% going to get stale. Why? Because it's literally zero original content. Yes, Ground War is in there. Yes, the new war mode is in there. It's cool, it's kind of gimmicky, but you could even say that's a good thing actually, that I'm not interested in playing Ground War because the 6v6 maps kind of do it for me. I don't really need to play Ground War like I did back in 2019. When it comes to 6v6 content specifically though, this shit is going to get boring very, very fast. Why? Because we don't have any original content at launch. We gotta wait until season one for some original content and original maps. Who's to say they're not just chunks off of Warzone or the Ground War maps? I don't fucking know, we don't know. But I do know one thing, launching your game with zero original content is not a good idea. And I'm just predicting it right now, this is gonna be a very, very common complaint amongst the community. And guys, that does it for my entire review of the MW 2019 Part 3 beta. Now there is two more things I need to do. I need to rate the game and give a recommendation for it if I have one. And we're gonna start with the rating right now. Guys, I, I know people are gonna get upset with this. The MW 2019 Part 3 beta for me was a four and a half to maybe five out of 10. And I've seen a lot of people on Twitter and on social media and YouTube just saying 10 out of 10, nine out of 10, eight out of 10. Fuck no, absolutely the fuck not. Now you might think four and a half to five out of 10 is extremely, extremely bad. And in comparison to the golden era CODs, yes, of course it is. But in comparison to the last like four or five CODs we've gotten, let me just put this into perspective for you guys. MW 2019's multiplayer experience for me, for the Scat Master, is a one out of 10, maybe a 1.5 out of 10 if I'm feeling bad for the people crying in the comments. Yeah, that multiplayer experience for me is fucking poo poo caca, I'm not gonna lie. Then we have Black Ops Cold War, and for me, especially at launch, the launch was very, very detrimental to the entirety of Black Ops Cold War for me. Personally, I think Black Ops Cold War was like a 4 to 4.5 out of 10. Then we have Vanguard. Guys, Vanguard is maybe maybe a 3 out of 10 for me. And then we have MW 2019 Part 2, which is probably like a 2.5 to maybe 3 out of 10. So as you can see, clearly very, very dog shit games recently. And in comparison, I would say a 4.5 to 5 out of 10, it is definitely better than those games. And I can say that very confidently. As somebody who rants and complains, right? You guys think I'm just hating for fucking views and shit? Let me be the one to tell you, it is better than those games easily. Now, the last thing, do I recommend recommend this game. <sighs> Fuck no. Guys, if I'm not even gonna buy this game and I'm a content creator and I can make my money back easily and I'm not gonna buy it, you guys probably shouldn't buy it either. Now, I still will play it. I've talked about this before. I'm playing the game for free. I'm not buying it. I'll still play it and make content on it. I'm just not paying a single fucking dime. And that's probably the only way I would recommend this game is if it was free to play, which it fucking should be, by the way. Goddamn. Call of Duty, catch up, please. But yeah, there's a lot of issues with this game. It's a $70 DLC patch update. It shouldn't cost money. And for that reason, there's no way I could recommend it. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think of my full review of MW 2019 part three. If you played it, do you agree with what I had to say? Do you disagree? Do you think I'm going too hard? Do you think my standards are too high? Let me know down in the comments below. And please, if you enjoyed today's video, please Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos, and uh, yeah guys, it's been the boy Fooly, have yourselves a good one, I'm out of here, toodles.